After witnessing the end of Aaron Matthews and Phoenix Nitro, the multiverse was in turmoil. However, half of Vibes still were none the wiser about what happened to the tag team champions, and that of course would be Brandon Collins and Dante Inferno. After proving himself to future Dante Inferno, Canon Inferno would earn his way into multiversal training and may just have a shot to save the entire multiverse from the evil grasps of Alexa and Amber after all. But just as things were looking up, things were about to get flipped on their head as future Inferno would finally introduce and reveal the leader of the TVA. Hello, Dante. Hello. Um, My name is Chris Danger, and I'm going to teach you about the inner workings of the multiverse. Oh, yeah? And what gives you the right to lecture me on anything? I've never even heard of you. <laughs> Listen, kid, you're going to learn real quick exactly who I am, but I'm here to help you, so drop the attitude. Okay, so what exactly are your ties to the multiverse? Why couldn't I just learn all this stuff from the alternate Dante Inferno? Is this whole, this whole multiverse you're walking around in right now? I've been here before, okay? And this entire situation you're currently in, I've lived it before. We have lived it before. You've lived all of this before? With Alexa and Amber? Yes, although slightly different. I mean, back in my day, we called it the Dangerverse, you know, and there was this guy that was like, I'm broken, but that's, that's not important right now. That version of Dante Inferno you just met, he comes from my original universe. I taught him everything he knows. That's why he brought you to me after you stole that multiversal ring. See, Dante, I'm part of something called the TVA, the Time Variance Authority. We essentially iron out any anomalies within the multiverse, and uh, your universe popped up on our systems as a big red flag. Not only for what you did, but also for what the Twisted Sisters are doing too. Every universe has overseers trained in the ways of the multiverse to prevent things like this from happening. Which is why I sent another one of my protégés, Steven Silver, from his own universe to solve the issue, but you managed to screw that up too, didn't you? Yeah, 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 sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thankfully, the damage isn't permanent. Since you had no idea how to yield that ring, you only set us back ever so slightly. Ever since it was opened within Inferno's universe, a ripple effect had echoed throughout the entire multiverse. Silver and Gresh's universes, respectively, are on the verge of collapse as we speak. And we're not alone anymore. Multiple realities and fabrics of time are breaking through. See, Dante, we've never witnessed anything like what we're witnessing with your universe. I mean, yeah, we've previously dealt with, you know, multiversal deviants, but nothing like what Amber and Alexa are doing right now. See, that's the thing. Their downfall is ultimately going to be caused by themselves. Amber and Alexa are dying. They're using so much power to keep their hold over the multiverse that it's literally killing them from the inside. And the only way they're balancing it is by blipping more souls. So yeah, yeah, go ahead. Keep, keep yielding that thing, recklessly swinging it around and, and see where it gets you. Alternatively, there's a timeline where you do listen to me. So you see, there's a wide variety of factors that change over our ever-expanding universe, but I believe that you could help us rather than work against us. Danger really put him through some rigorous training and exercises during these times, and eventually Inferno would begin to get the message and would be willing to work with yes. him to get things back to the way they once were. Now that you understand and you've matured in the ways of multiversal travel, your training is almost complete. But before I send you back to your time and grant you full control of that multiversal ring, I want to ensure that you are truly ready. So you must endure one final challenge. And that final challenge is me. And here we go. It is time for Dante Inferno's final test against Chris Danger. Making his way to the ring from the flames beneath the surface, weighing in at 218 pounds, the flame sword, Dante Inferno. It has been one hellacious, one absolutely rigorous training arc so to speak, that Inferno has had to undergo under the leader of the TVA, a man that knows the multiverse all too well here in the micro multiverse, Chris Danger. And now this is the final stop for Dante Inferno to prove himself to Chris Danger that he is 
capable, that he is worthy of yielding the multiversal ring. It simply does not got any bigger than this. And look at the flames as they rise once again in front of this crowd right here. Danger has done that much in the fight against Amber and Alexa. You remember Amber and Alexa blitz away the crowd. Danger has managed to at least bring them back for this one right here. And look at this right now. Almost a sign of respect between Danger and Inferno at the beginning of this match. And listen to the crowd. Listen to the atmosphere for Chris Danger. It is literally about seeing if Inferno is worthy enough to yield that multiversal ring here in the final step of his training. Because if not, quite frankly, Chris Danger, he's the leader of the TVA. He'll find someone who is worthy. He'll find someone else. And for the man right there, for Dante Inferno, it is even bigger than that. His entire universe, multiple universes and realities are on the line. Multiple lives have already been lost. You know, you look at Hangman and Page, Aaron Matthews, Phoenix Nitro and everyone else in between. Perhaps more importantly than all of that, Dante Inferno is here to prove to Chris Danger that he is worthy and that he can be the one to save the universe. And the referee rings the bell. This one is off and instantly out of the gate. Chris Danger not going easy on the man that has pretty much became his protege in the last couple of months. Oh my God, the cutter straight from the top rope. Instantly, Danger saying, if you are gonna earn my respect and earn your way into that multiversal ring, you are gonna do it after a prison beating at the hands of the man that resides in the danger zone. Oh, and now look at this Danger here with these, with these striking combinations in the knee as well but if you think that inferno is gonna if you think you can count inferno out easily then you'd be mistaken he may be on the on the rough end right now but he, you think he doesn't want to save everybody back in his universe you think he doesn't want that after everything that he has been through under the leader of the tva chris danger he wants that more than anything after after you know seeing his future self from that alternate universe the older dante inferno he wants that after seeing and beating all of the alternate versions of dante inferno he wants that more than anything he wants to be the one to save the entire damn multiverse but if he's gonna do it he is gonna have to outlast Chris Danger in this match right here and Danger is not going easy on Inferno busting him wide open but Inferno is still in this now one. Dante Inferno what is he thinking here? Oh nice counter there by Chris Danger here counter by Dante Inferno back and forth you can tell these men have that built up chemistry they've been going back and forth in the in the training arc for months Danger has put this kid to the test in the TVA to make sure he was ready to make sure he had the full training for that multiversal ring to make sure he was ready to outlast the side effects and understand everything that it was going to take to beat Amber and Alexa and save the multiverse. Here's what I will go ahead and say to Inferno's credit as, oh, nice counter there by Inferno. Wait a second, these two men are getting into a brawl once again. Pause my commentary. There goes Inferno to the outside. What I will say to Inferno's credit is that we have seen, we've all seen throughout his entire career, this man go through some of the most bloody wars in NXT, in WWE, and so he is ready for a battle like this. I'll never forget his matches against Carry and Cross for the NXT Championship where, where he was bleeding from the face and from the nose and everything and he still managed to pull it out. And now hang on a second. Oh, he was going for the taste of danger right there was Chris Danger, but it was countered by Inferno. Remember, these two men know each other so damn well. There's going to be counters galore. Look at this. This is exactly what I was talking about. Oh, nice counter there by Inferno into a cover of his own. Oh, no, he doesn't quite get it. But yeah, like I was saying, this man has had brutal wars against the Undisputed Era and Adam Cole and Humberto Carrillo. A uh, shout out to them. Matt Riddle, Karrion Cross. he's been through it all. If you don't know Inferno by now, you better get to know. Because this kid, this kid is damn resilient and he wants that multiversal ring training. He wants that final stamp of approval from Chris Danger, but he's not going to get it easily, as I keep saying. And now Danger, here we go. Danger, drop kick. On, oh, wait a second, and now Chris Danger with the taste of danger. Out of nowhere to Dante Inferno and... What the hell? And Inferno looks like he's just seen a ghost. A ghost of his past because we are now back here in NXT. And I mean, uh, forgive me if I'm mistaken here, but I think Chris Danger has literally healed up Dante Inferno for the second stage of this fight right here. And oh my God, what the hell is wrong with this madman? This man is absolutely insane. And what a sight for nostalgic eyes this is. Dante Inferno back in NXT where he really made his name. And now wait a second, he's about to make a name out of Chris Danger. What a fisherman's 
suplex. But this is an absolutely bizarre scene, part de, as they would say in France, of this match here. Kick out by Danger. Anything goes in the multiverse, as it were. And we already know that Danger is the leader of the TVA, the Time Variance Authority, so he can do stuff like this. He can just change anything at the will of, uh, at his own will. Although that's not what he wants. He just wants to push Inferno to his absolute maximum. And there's the five stars, nothing less. Frog Splash by Dante Inferno. Oh my god. Unbelievably close. Conjoined twins. Close right there. And oh, I think he was going for that Inferno Overdrive, but it was countered. Danger's not gonna let you get that one easily. He may have healed you up to so you can be full strength, but you're still gonna catch a taste of danger. You're still gonna catch a taste of danger from Chris. And now into the cover of his own, but a kick out. And danger now realizing just what kind of fighter he trained. And in a sick and twisted way, as the crowd is chanting fight forever. This is gonna be impressive for Chris. He's gonna be proud of the man he trained in Dante Inferno, but at the same time, he doesn't care. He is gonna push you to your wits. So he is, or so he knows that Inferno is ready. And there's an ode to one of his inspirations, Shawn Michaels, a man who he's had a run in with in the past. Oh my God, oh my God. No, no, no! The Spanish fly through the flaming table. Now look at this Inferno, the awakening of NXT Inferno, the Inferno of all with an Inferno overdrive. And I think it is safe to say that Dante Inferno is back. If your training is complete, I'm now entrusting you with full control over the ring. Do the right thing, Inferno. Your universe depends on it.